What you doing over there? Just sending some money to this guy who's selling his couch. Look, it's a sectional. Oh, uh, yeah. You can send money so fast and easy these days. I'm gonna send him the deposit right now. Wait, do you know this guy? Does it count if I met him online? Consumer tip number one. Only use peer-to-peer -peer payment apps with friends and family you trust. Consumer Reports reviewed hundreds of consumer complaints and found that scammers are exploiting peer-to-peer -peer payment apps. One example, scammers induce buyers into sending them the money first, then flee without ever delivering the goods. Oh, let me pay you back for the coffee. Oh, thanks. Done. That was fast. Do you have a pin on that app? Oh, no. I don't have time for that. Well, without a pin, someone could break into your phone and send themselves all your money. I never thought about that. Consumer tip number two, set up extra security. Consumer Reports research shows that most peer-to-peer -peer service providers make extra security features available to users, but that in most cases, consumers must opt in to use them. Venmo, Square, and Facebook Messenger all allow users to set up an extra layer of security, such as entering a PIN or using a fingerprint to open up the app or make a payment. And Apple requires users to confirm all payments. Adding these security features only takes a few seconds, and they are well worth it. Consumers should choose services that have these security features and enable them. Hey! Hey! Is it too late to chip in for Lisa's gift? Oh no, you're just in time. Oh, great. Okay. Venmoing you now. Thanks. Thanks. Wait, you spell your last name with a Y, right? Consumer tip number three. Make sure to get all the recipient details correct. If you send funds to the wrong person, good luck getting it back. Consumer Reports research shows that if you send money to the wrong recipient, many peer-to-peer -peer service providers will tell you to ask for it back, rather than stepping in themselves to help. That's why it's really important that users do all they can to make sure the money gets sent to the right person. Before initiating any payment, make sure you have the right username, phone number, or other identifiers. If available, use a QR code to ensure that your money is sent to the right place. Venmo allows you to add your phone contacts and Facebook friends so you can easily find and pay them. You can sync your phone contacts with the Facebook Messenger app, which can help you find the right person you want to pay. Use these features when available and choose services that have them over those that don't. Hey. Hey, any exciting plans for the weekend? Yeah, actually I'm going on a short road trip. Which reminds me, I need to pay the dog sitter. In dog treats? No, they actually asked me to pay them on Zelle. Are they supposed to do that? Consumer tip number four. Do not use peer-to-peer -peer services for business purposes. Peer-to-peer -peer services usually have strict rules about how it can be used. Several prohibit business use and may kick you off the service if you use a personal P2P app for commercial purposes. Even simple transactions, such as collecting money for shoveling a driveway, may be considered a prohibited commercial use. For consumers looking to use a payment app for business purposes, look for an account specifically for business users. Oh no. What? I sent money to the wrong Todd. Which Todd? Weird Todd. Oh, what'd you use? Venmo, Zelle, Square? I mean, you could probably call them. And... Um, this is Apple Pay, but I think they all have the same policy, right? I mean, you would think so. Consumer tip number five, know the policies. A Consumer Reports review of peer-to-peer -peer provider policies found that where you go for help may depend on which service you are using. Some apps direct users to resolve their own disputes by contacting their bank, while other services will help users directly in resolving issues. Before using any P2P service, be sure to know where to go if something goes wrong and what kind of help to expect.
Thank you.